Oh, let's see. Well, frogs normally don't have nipples, so we couldn't tell if they were female presenting. The frogs got tits out to here, <laughs> Carmen. I've never seen bigger tits in my life. What's up, people? Jack here. Happy holiday and Merry Christmas for those of you who are celebrating it on the 25th. Uh, today's the 24th, and uh, yeah, I'll be celebrating in a bit. But uh, before that, I actually wanted to record something because during the last stream, we got so rudely interrupted by YouTube, who did not allow us to finish watching the very video that I'm about to watch right now. <laughs> Keep selling shows to fuck! Now, this is Brennan. For those of you who are fans of Baldur's Gate or anything D&D related, he's an awesome dude who covers a lot of that, but also an amazing voice actor, and he does so much. Now, he used to be one of my favorite people on College Humor, a channel that some say has fallen off. I still find some of the stuff pretty funny. But a series that they had in the past that I did not follow too much closely was Message from Your CEO. So that is what I'm going to be watching today. Now, for those of you who are wondering where the My Summer Car video is at, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Festivities just took over too much and I had to spend time with family. But uh, like, I've played nine hours of this thing and I've only like gotten five achievements. It's insane. This game is really pain. I understand Mart. Well, Minds it opens when he mentions just how painful this game is. The one thing that I can pride myself in this is that I now understand how to build a car from scratch. Now, without further ado, though, let's jump into the video. Hi, America. My name's David Taylor. I'm the David CEO Taylor. of the company that makes Tide and its corollary product, Tide Pods, which is what I want to talk <laughs> to you about today. You gotta stop eating the Tide Pods, okay? Look, I get it. You guys are young, you're hip. You don't want an old guy telling you what to do. But Tide Pods are soap, and that's not food. So please, stop eating the Tide Pods. Dude, the Tide Pod Challenge frenzy. It was literally a frenzy because this, I, I couldn't understand it, how we spread so fast. It lasted almost three years, from 2012 to 2015, where kids were eating detergents. Like, how? And make sure to keep an eye out for Cascade Dish Pops, the lollipop that cleans your dishes. <laughs> that lolly, uh, can we stop, can we, sorry. Yeah, Are maybe we calling not. it a lollipop? I'd love to see one if I could, just get it, if we can find one in. Ooh. Design. Our company has been innovating new products since it was founded, and we're proud to continue that tradition with our Vicks VapoRub Winter Blast Gum Flavored Bonbons. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Do, do these look just like mints, like diner mints? Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at it, and man, that looks like a mint to me. I mean, <laughs> am I crazy? They perhaps also have this flavor. What do you mean the same as Tide Pods? I also don't understand. Now that we're talking about it, what does gum flavored mean in this context? Yeah. Bubble gum flavored? Gum tastes like anything. <laughs> we're gonna get our fucking ass handed to us in court. You're not rolling on this, are you? Oh yeah, Forget he is. dryer sheets with Gain Brand dryer powder. You simply pour the powder into the mixer you take your dryer stick right here yeah, and cotton candy. This is cotton candy. <laughs> Am I the asshole? Like, how do you not get? We can we just cut? Can we cut, can you cut the camera real quick? I'm I'm trying to understand right now how this happened. I have been busting my ass on this fucking Tide Pods fiasco, and I turned my back for three seconds, and now our entire line of products is shaped like fucking candy. And I'm trying to understand how this happened. Why are you crying? With Tempex Push Sickles, you get to choose between Chili Cherry, Frosty Fruit Punch, or... No. Oh no, this is limit. Come on. It's like similar to what we've done with soap, for example, right? As you most likely know, most soaps have done uh, at least made with certain proportions of like water, lye, and oil. And then you can add different uh, foaming agents to them because they don't normally foam that much at all. But just to signify to people that uh, the thing is working, you'll add something like uh, sodium lauryl sulfate to it and make it extra foamy and up. And then 
also you can add some smelling agent to repel people from trying to put it in their freaking mouths because yeah th th that's a great detergent detergent deterrent to, to make sure that people don't make mistakes like that but th those designs are purposely always done to make sure that idiots do not make these mistakes but somehow some companies went ahead and were like no we need to make them as attractive as possible or ice cold cranberry we okay not <laughs> only should none of these be flavored because why would you flavor them uh -huh. this is the coldest thing i've ever held and as in everything else today, people will try to eat these. <laughs> Even if they're not poisonous, we don't want people eating fucking tampons. No. Why are they poisonous? You'll go cuckoo for cleanliness with oh. our cocoa butter premium Pampers brand chuck so the kids eat shit. Right? That that, that eat shit was uh that was very genuine. That's what this is? The From kids the heart. They eat shit. It's chocolate, diaper, poop. Let's see here. Oh, oh, well, oh, is. no. Is it chocolate? Is it poop? Do we care? Does anyone care? Who knows? Who gives a fuck, right? I'm not going to do this product, so we'll be moving on. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Like, uh, I've, I've had a kid for the last uh, one year and three, three months. Yeah. She just turned one year and three months you know, on the 18th. I've gotten, like, a different tolerance for body odor and, like... <laughs> fecal matter for that sake but that's for my child i do not want to see stuff like this i don't know it repulses me okay try crest brand dinner paste for the hungry consumer on the go throw a fluoride filled meal bag in your gullet ew oh fuck yeah oh uh, uh -uh. so we do make food so we do now make food. Meal bag. Paste. I'll kill you. It doesn't matter <laughs> yeah. if we make the day because none of this is going to be usable. Do you understand? That's a hamburger. It's a razor. That's a razor. <laughs> That's a Gillette razor. Bring me shaving cream right now. And if it doesn't shave my face, it's your ass. You get that, right? Here we go. Oh, no. It's a smooth shave. Oh my God. That is a killer shave. That is like baby's, baby's bottom smooth. <laughs> the other stuff I don't know about, but this is, the hamburger is working for me. Wow. Hi America, my name is Brian Hatt and I'm the CEO of ABC. Our company has always sought to produce wholesome, original content that brings people together across the aisle. But recently we've had a couple big misses. Roseanne, last... Oh, no. Recently, we've had a couple big misses. Roseanne, last man standing. These were attempts at bringing us together that ultimately couldn't connect with our core values. Oh, yeah, Roseanne, she had, she, she had a big flop. Her and her food that could spike your insulin just by looking at it. Now, those meals were obviously not her downfall, despite, uh, I, I think, warranting her to be cancelled for that. No. I don't advocate for anybody's cancellation, despite when the stars straight up saying that nobody died in the Holocaust. Yeah, it's more the worst that she said that were kind of uh, a mistake. Together, they ultimately couldn't connect with our core values. For that, we apologize. Mm -hmm. Moving forward, we want to prove to you that we are redoubling our efforts to create programming that speaks to the heartland while not attacking the very core of human decency. Okay. So thanks for watching, and make sure to tune in for this fall's newest sitcom, Baby Immigrant, starring Adam Carolla, Ted Nugent, and Jeff Dunn. <laughs> this is a fucking time bomb, man. Give me a break. I know this is literally a stalk. Can you imagine who's narrating <laughs> Dave Nugent being like, here, 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 to come to Stork and deliver us to baby immigrant. <laughs> oh my god. Adam Carolla? Ted Nugent? Can Ted Nugent act? No. <laughs> uh, ABC isn't just for families either. Keep an eye out for this fall's Diversity, where two college athletes will lose their scholarships unless they can trick their friends and faculty into thinking <laughs> they're women of color. Oh God. I like the note, uh, the, the notch there, 
to both the uh, glasses, I think, like the colorblind glasses, which was a total scam, been proven by so many YouTubers. I mean, that stuff was like six years or so old, but it was so bad back then. Uh, a, a, a nice channel, actually, uh, who has an awesome editor that I like a lot. Uh, Megaflex, I think that's the name. I, I should look it up, sorry, sorry. Megalag, that's the channel. Uh, they have a pretty good takedown on the whole colorblind things with uh, especially that, that one company that was pushing forth those glasses. So if you want to check that out to be a little bit more informed on that from an actual colorblind person who went through both examination and all that is awesome a uh, couple of videos actually that he has made on the topic who agreed to be in this show <laughs> Logan Logan Paul. Paul? <laughs> <laughs> the sweaty guy from the charlotte oh abc charlottesville yeah. comedy new soap opera blue lives to live tells the story <laughs> of a police precinct full of romance betrayal and the one woman brave enough to delete over 300 hours of body cam footage <laughs> at least it isn't that uh, one earlier this year who uh, had buddies uh, at least whose uh, whole police department ran a train on Bruh. her face will remain a meme I feel so bad for her, but like, what did she expect was gonna happen? <laughs> We're fucked! We're fucked, man! That's what they said. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me we have something that will not cause a boycott. A reboot? Oh no. Oh no. Family Matters. It's a blast from the past here at ABC. You do not touch Family Matters, okay? You do not touch family matters. Because we're heading back to Chicago to catch up with the Winslow family and old Steve Urkel in All Families Matter, the all-white reboot of the classic... No! <laughs> no! Don't move over to get the poster. Back on me. Uh... It's the same thing. Like when they reboot something and clearly just change the, the, the race of people on... Well, you know all too well the meme of the Netflix adaptation, right? Like, it's mind-boggling how they can't, if they even want to make a reboot, just do so, but with a new perspective onto the story. That could be fun. We don't need a complete retelling of the whole thing. Now, I'm totally fine with the whole thing of, yeah, you know what, we have the original, we can always go back and watch those and trash from the new stuff, but still... I mean, you're gonna draw people to the show while making them Hate it at the same time. It's weird. Uh, I took care of Roseanne. I took care of Ten Allen. How is this shit getting greenlit? We cannot keep selling shows to Fox. For fans of Chicago Med and Chicago Fire, make sure to check out Chicago EMT and Chicago Clan coming to. Okay, Chicago Clan. Who did this show? To oh. Can I see the demo information, please. Oh. Thank you. Wow. That's straight up Cuckoo Clan. Okay, so I've noticed something. This survey was conducted at a <laughs> clan rally. rally. Do you think that there's a problem with that? Marking our first foray into prestige journalism, we're excited to bring our new hour-long, in-depth investigative reporting program, News for White People, with co-anchors Mel <laughs> Gibson and any blonde woman. Oh, wow. So look, Mel, I'm a huge fan of Mel from his, uh, like, just campy action movies. He, he, he's one of the chods. And, well, would be Chad back then when he was younger, of his generation. Like, every single time that I think about Expandables, like, it, it brings me good memories. So it's not a good movie, but, like, seeing all my heroes like that is awesome. But, man, man... <laughs> I would not like to hear what Mel Gibson has to say on news. No, oh, no, oh. Oh, the bleeding. 
No Homo, starring Kelsey Grammer. Greenlit, The Handmaid's Tale, but we frame it like it's a good thing, starring Patricia Heaton. Other than the title, guys, you know that's Greenlit. School Shooter Shooter, starring a digitally reanimated Charlton Heston and Ted Nugent, the Nuge. You know I got a Greenlit, the Nuge. I wanted to do something good, you know? Bring the left and the right together. We're so divided, I just thought. And you guys hired all these racist lunatics, and that's not what I, <laughs> look, I mean, Bridget, can you get that poll information? You wanna know, the number one thing that middle Americans wanted to see on TV, it, look, it was uh, racist lunatics. That's, they wrote, they had to bubble in other and write that. That was obviously not one of the options we put in. Oh, wow. This country is fucked. That's more or less true. Like, I'm not gonna lie. From what I observe way too often on uh, American media, I'm, I'm not gonna say that it is factual, okay? This is very subjective. This is from my observation but it's kind of hard not to see that pattern because I am unfortunately, there's a train. There's a train. I am unfortunately one of those individuals who would uh, like either put in the background or straight up actually engage in listening to like different point of views, sometimes to my own detriment. It's not always good. Like I will either listen to some political debaters on uh, on the conservative side this and that just because i want to be informed and know what the hell is happening around the world but when it comes to the us it's so very polarized like you have people who are way too much stuck in camps and are unable to like approach people with I, I don't want to necessarily say lack of empathy, but it often comes that way. But like with the inability of seeing where people come from, that the, the view that somebody wants to have is not necessarily because they want to hurt you. But what it leads to at the end of the day is just people wanting to see more extremism in their views, right? Just straight up denial of other people's um, actual intent just with like a framing of what they believe it to be now i could be totally wrong with what i'm saying but that's like an observation that i've made and that i guess is what happens when you like only have like two sides or at least i'm being told that there are only two sides to an issue but 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 on the other hand though i mentioned the political part because he mentioned the left and the right uh, when it comes to tv a thing that i actually found out recently was that it's not that clear cut a lot of the things that are being shown is not at all representative of like the demographics that d they seem to show on tv not at all don't always take these commercials and or tv shows as face value because they might not be right at all yeah, it's bad well, they love baby <laughs> we aired baby immigrant what the fuck are you talking about already you just announced it first in the time slot I mean, we can get Nugent an acting coach, right? <laughs> Hi, America. Pragmatism. My name is Rob Shell, and I'm the CEO of Venmo, the simple, fun money app that enables quick and easy payments between friends while providing the full experience of a social media platform. Venmo started out as the dream of two engineering students. What if you could like a financial transaction? Really? I've never used Venmo. We don't have that here. We have a thing called mobile pay. It's simple, it's efficient, that's it. There's no links to social media. At least like attributing to like social media style things. It's weird. What if you could friend request your landlord? What if you could comment on a work colleague's electricity bill? This exciting idea was roundly rejected by the vast majority of our user base yeah. who foolishly chose to ignore all the fun social aspects of uh, Venmo that we worked so hard on. Guys, we're in the middle of a take. Uh, can we just lock it up? What's going on? No, I read it correctly. I'm calling them foolish. Because Venmo is fun and you'd have to be stupid to not realize that. It's fun! With Facebook quickly unraveling democracy and Twitter full to bursting with Nazis, why not head over to Venmo and make us the new home of social media? Post your heart out with the understanding that every post must be accompanied by a financial transaction of oh. some sort. Is that what's messing us up? 
But you can't just post. It has to be accompanied by an exchange of money. Wouldn't that be... Okay, I'm just speedballing here. Like, wouldn't people add an iota more of reflection onto the texting process before actually posting it if it was attached to a payment? I think it would. Like, it's not... <laughs> Okay, perhaps not, but the people who are buying for freaking Twitter aren't doing any better. So, uh, yeah, forget what I said. No. No, that, that rules. That kicks <laughs> ass. It's the f***ing users, man. They suck. They suck. They yeah. Suck. The I'm good. People. I'm good. They suck. <laughs> yeah, of course the board knows I'm doing this. What do you think? I'm, I'm the CEO of the... You... Oh, is that them on the phone? Hi, Walter. Hello. I can hear you're upset. This so what guy. I need to understand <laughs> is that once we are extremely profitable, the company has accomplished its objective. You do feel that way. Well, I find that boring. Ooh. I don't think that's cool. And I think cool is something that is a form of currency as well. Aye, aye, aye. Don't yell. The reason <laughs> I was brought onto this company is that I understand young people. I know what's hip. I know what's on. I know what's lit. I know what's fleek. That's why I'm here. You're Do you ever have the, like, certain idea that they actually don't give Brennan a script? Like, he's improvising most of this. Like, I feel it. He, it all of what he says, it feels so genuine. None of it feels like prepared or artificial, you know? It, uh, <laughs> it's nice. You're young. You're young. You're an intern, right? Yeah. You want Soch? Mm -hmm. You want Soch Mead? You want the Soch Mead? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. What's your finance app? What do you use for finance? Uh, what do you use for finance? Hello? Uh, square. Uh, square? Square. square? Square Cash? You're fired. Oh. You didn't see it before, but she's, she's very hostile. <laughs> With Venmo Platinum, you'll be able to socialize with only the most active Venmo users. Celebrities, improv coaches, drug dealers. And with such features as scheduled payments, verification, and actually being able to tell whether or not you're paying the right person, the future of Venmo is more than golden. It's, it's platinum. platinum. But you can only <laughs> get it if you routinely get 20 likes on a post. How hard is that? I'm not asking you to part Engagement. the Red Sea here. I'm asking for some engaging content yeah. that we can license into a franchise <laughs> of Dwayne the Rock Johnson film. <laughs> I mean, Facebook is full of Russian bots and 9-11 truthers. Twitter is <laughs> pledge week at the Reichstag. The planets have aligned for Venmo's big day. And for the rock. Oh, man. Oh, oh God, I used to love that guy. But he and Ryan Reynolds, unfortunately, too. Funny guy, but goddamn, they're making the same movies again and again. It's all the same. We're blowing it because of you. You guys know you can put whatever you want in the comments, right? You don't have to say it's the actual thing that you're paying for. Instead of a cab, right? Write blowjob. Ha 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 ha! That's comedy, <laughs> okay? Something is one thing, but through comedy, you just you say blowjob and it's funny. No. What do you mean people are naturally shy and antisocial when they're discussing their personal finances? Yeah? You sound stupid. <sighs> you can be in a movie with The Rock. <laughs> do you want that? Or do you want to live a stupid life where nothing happens? <laughs> no thanks. Oh, Venmo <laughs> money, Venmo problems. Could have been you. <laughs> oh, sorry for that. <laughs> that is so dumb. What's this? Should we call someone? Should we call someone? Oh. Hey man, are you Buddy. okay? <laughs> Movie pass. We're here to, to shoot the PSA, but we, we can come back another time if you need... Um... We're here for the Movie Pass CEA, CBA, P P P PSA. Call me sleeping on the floor a little bit. Um, well, yeah. You know, you Somehow Movie Pass is back. How? How is that? Again, from a European perspective, I have friends with whom I talk movies, and uh, they've made use of that to watch a lot of stuff. Long, long hours, you care about a company as the CEOs do. Uh, um, 
my house is fine. I have a house. I have my house. I have my house still. Um, good morning, America. I'm Jonathan Floor, CEO of MoviePass, the company revolutionizing the way you see movies. Oof. Now, you may have heard some rumors and gossip about us going out of business, but the important thing is this. MoviePass is here to stay. It's taken us a couple tries to get it right. Ouch. I mean, who knew people would see truly so many movies? I only thought they made like 20 movies a year. I way under guess. They make truly, um, what, like hundreds, right? Yeah. How many? Jillian. Like, like thousands. Thousands? Yeah. <laughs> According to our accounting department, we were losing money on every single subscriber. No, it's okay. Sometimes in business you gotta lose money to lose money. Make money. <laughs> Fuck. Changes have to be made here at MoviePass. They have to. They just have to. And this we want to be totally transparent prices. with you about those changes. I've been emailing you guys conservatively three to ten times a day for the past five weeks, keeping you updated on what's new and exciting in MoviePass. We've kept you informed about doing surcharges, not doing surcharges, letting you see select movies, only letting you see movies at select times. And our research is showing that none of those strategies have worked and you didn't like them all. But that's okay no. because... If you try hard and you never give up and you never stop running, they'll never catch you. <laughs> Just because something doesn't work doesn't mean it doesn't work. In an effort to address these issues, we're unveiling a total overhaul to the MoviePass system. Now, to be clear, nobody is being kicked off their subscription. Yes. <laughs> we won't even let you cancel your subscription. Why don't we kick you off? Oh, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Instead, we're unveiling a few new options that should delight and reward. God, he's good. Or our loyal uh, subscribers. One sec, guys, sorry. Um, I have to take this, I'm so sorry. Hi, Dimitri, I'm getting the money. I'm getting it. <laughs> oh no, former Russian boss. Oh, you can put it on the phone. Molly, hi, it's daddy. Are the men, the men are all right? They're not good. Sweetie, you can't cancel your subscription. <laughs> <laughs> what if we gave people Movies. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Homes. Like if we had retail locations, like yeah, instead it's of just that's Blockbuster. Blockbuster? Yeah. How's Blockbuster doing? What's their market share? Not good. Are they doing good? No. They were killed by Netflix. Oh, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! How about this? You want to see a movie? You want to see a movie? Come to our office. I'll act out the movies for you with the new Thespian Pass. Movies come alive in front. I mean, if it's only Brennan, then sure. <laughs> but otherwise, no. <laughs> I just saw Crazy Rich Asians. It was great. Give me a heads up. Give me like, just tell me if you're going to come like a week in advance and I'll do the whole thing for you. I'll get costumes. I'll get hats. It'll be so fun. Please don't. <laughs> Why? I'll be all the Crazy Rich Asians. With Simon Movie Pass, uh... you get to fuck me. <laughs> Jonathan Floor. On See the floor. On pass as much as you want. As hard as you want for two hours. Oh, Jesus. It doesn't have to be two hours. You can go longer if you want. We can do it. Just. Need the money. Oh, and you also can see Mission Impossible. The original one. Not the new one. We couldn't, we couldn't make that happen. How about this? Okay. What about a movie pass where it's, it's pay as you go? It's like a la carte, right? So it's between $8, $20, depending on where you live, what theater you're going to, the location, and you would just buy individual movie passes from the theater ahead of the show. Ah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like that's... Don't. Don't ruin this for me. Just don't. I'm hanging by a thread. And the thing I'm hanging over, it's bottomless. If I drop, I never hit the bottom. Do you get it? <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say, it's, it's a good idea. Okay, do you wanna buy, shit, do you wanna buy Movie Pass? With the new Junior Mints Movie Pass, see any movie you want, as long as you buy all the Junior Mints at the theater. I know that's a lot of Junior Mints, right? But here's the thing, if you don't like Junior Mints, that's fine, throw them out. They're yours to do with what you will. Dimitri says hello. Oh, no, 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 guys, listen, wait, you're not being reasonable. I'm gonna get the money. Wait, 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 wait. Do you guys wanna buy Movie Pass? No, listen, <laughs> hey, okay, new Movie Pass. Rescue me, and you can see any movie you want. Hey, internet citizens, it's me, Harry Pancake, oh, the no. CEO of Tumblr. No, 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 no.
Oh my god, Tumblr. Oh my god. That was due. Okay, so Tumblr failed horribly due to its acquisition by Yahoo. I was almost about to say Alphabet, but Alphabet is Google. Um, uh, by Yahoo, who then forced them, due to uh, family friendliness, uh, to remove the many things that uh, made Tumblr p p popular. Obviously, not safe for work content. And now all of those people have migrated over to Twitter. And, well, Twitter was already a hellhole. It's become worse. Now, there are great artists there, I'm not gonna lie, that uh, uh, do do some great art. But <laughs> removing Tumblr's lifeblood was the worst idea that they could have ever made. We've begun the difficult process of removing all adult content from our platform. We know some of our users are unhappy with this decision, but Tumblr's a family company, and there's so much of what we do have to offer that is SFW, short for safe, fun, and wholesome. Wow. Come on, guys. Still having fun, come on. Tumblr's a vibrant space for artists, comedians, young activists, and the many non-pornographic communities that make up our platform. Consider the thriving mascot community we have here on Tumblr. Furries. These sports heads can't get enough of their team's mascots. If you spend any time at all oh. on the furry <laughs> hashtag, you'll be wowed at their craftsmanship, ingenuity, and dedication. What am I looking at here, Carm? Is that... Uh, so you're telling me I'm looking at this lion, I guess centaur, penetrating this lady koala from behind. That is not indicative of what the furry community is about. So, it extremely is. What? Okay, so you're telling me that if I go to Yif party- No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> There's a reason why uh, during the last Badger video, yeah, uh, at least a previous one. I, I, I made that one joke with uh, low tier, low tier guard. With low tier guard being like, you should go yiff yourself now. <laughs> oh. So the entire furry community is just these foxes and badgers and dragons all banging each other? I, well, dragons call themselves Kaylee's. Do you think that was my question? Was what the nomenclature of these fucking... What is this frog doing with its nipples? How does this not violate our extremely clarified nipple pile? Now, to be fair, there are some furries who are actually not like this. Over the channel's uh, lifetime, got to actually know some personally. So, yeah, some are actually <laughs> like normal people. I'll see. Well, frogs normally don't have nipples, so we couldn't tell if they were female presenting. The frogs got tits out to here, <laughs> Carmen! I've never seen bigger tits in my life! <laughs> Where? Go to hell! <laughs> Tumblr is about creativity, not smut. <laughs> Look at the great fan-created fiction that's already on here. Sherlock Holmes, as a high school student, shared over 800,000 times. The untold adventures of Samwise and Frodo, sharing a villa in the Tuscan countryside? How creative is that? Yo, broke back Mount Doom. <laughs> here. I want to read you a passage from one of my <coughs> favorite fan-created fictions, Harry Potter and the Wand of Impossible Girth. But I don't understand, Dobby. I gave you my sock. Why do you want the rest of my clothes? Dobby gripped the tender balls of the boy who lived and whispered, Dobby is master now, and Cornelius Fudge gets to watch. I... Conservatively. What percentage of our platform is porn? Nine. Nine percent? T. Ninety? Eight. Ah! Martha, I'm not angry. I, I just am trying to understand how this didn't get to me. When I started this website, I wanted it to be about buddies doing social media. That's why I started the BDSM tag. It's full of what? <sighs> well, it can't all be porn, okay? It can't all be porn. There's got to be some knock porn on the platform. Activists, we have got young activists. Head over to Socialist, put up Socialist no, Tumblr, no, no, and no, I bet no, there's- No, 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 no. Cute. That's real cute, gang. 
So, That's a what? Nice Sony. This is seizing the means of production. I will find it. I will find the non-porn, all right? Cooking, look, this eggplant is sprinkling water on a crying man. No. Family, okay, family values. Thirsty stepsister needs a big, no. no. She doesn't need that, and in fact, nobody needs that. Something boring, something boring. Uh, craftsmanship, DIY. Here, watch a hydraulic press crush my quivering <laughs> virgin asshole. Why is everyone on the internet so horny? Why is nobody obeying rule 34? Mate. Be polite. That's rule 34. Is there a different rule 34? Very different rule 34. So you're telling me that if I put in any, any, anything, uh, uh, a Bronson Pincho, perfect strangers, straight guy, first time anal bareback, that it... It's 12 million results. It's 12 million results. That's the real Bronson Pincho. Well, he's working. Well, oh, I come on, come what on. What the octopus is getting out of any of this. And frankly, the young woman doesn't look very happy either. And this is under the cartoons tab. Yabba dabba, do not search under there if you want to just watch some Flintstones or something wholesome. Well. No, the internet works too fast. Guess I'm the idiot, right? <laughs> just a fool. Wanted a website, some artsy photos of rain, a couple of bad poems in a conversation format that was frankly impossible to follow. You took my dream and you stuffed it up with dicks and pussies and hard glints. Is that what we found in the fourth house? Really? Yeah, it's a neo-Nazi advocated genocide. Should we I uh, beg your pardon? Freedom of speech, <laughs> heard of it? <laughs> Gang, Brennan here. Okay, he went in a direction that I did not expect there at all. Okay, <laughs> good on him. Apology. Good on him. God damn, Brennan is such a good actor. And also just love the names that every single one of the CEO had. Like just some generic name and that's an, a household item or like some <laughs> object. <laughs> Jonathan Floor. <laughs> That was so good. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. As always, if you liked it, don't forget to give the video a like. And of course, if you want to see some more of this, if YouTube allows me to actually put this out because they were a bit too adamant on blocking the stream last time, uh, perhaps I'll do some more. That being said, though, we should have a wonderful day, wonderful holiday celebrations and uh, Christmas. And see you guys in the next one. Bye.